y'all, it's me, Alex. Today I have a video, I don't know what to call it, it's a dupe video, but all of the clever dupe names for videos have been taken. So I don't know what to call it. I'll probably never know what to call it. I was gonna say that I was gonna come up with a clever title, but we all know that's a lie. But anyway, it is a dupe video for, to see if the, let's see, the NYX HD liquid eyeshadow base, high definition eyeshadow base, is a dupe for the Urban Decay Primer Potion um, for the eyes, the original. Um, I had a sample of the Primer Potion and I had run out of that sample but I didn't have enough money to buy this size so I heard that the NYX was a dupe and I had been using that for a while and then I was able to get like a mini of the Primer Potion. So now that I have the two of them, I'm going to test them out to see if the NYX version is really a dupe for the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And I'm going to zoom you in. I've already done my eye makeup, but I'm going to zoom you in. And you can guess which side you think is a NYX and which side you think is the Primer Potion. Comment down below which one you think is the Urban Decay and which one you think is the NYX. And now we're going to move on into actually doing the application of the eyeshadow and you're going to find out which one is which. Okay, so I'm going to apply the NYX um, primer onto this side on my left eye. Um, this has a doe foot applicator. Like this I should put. And I'm just going to apply a little bit like that. Um, this is very smooth. Um, it's a little bit more, a little bit sticky, but it's very smooth. A little bit goes a long way with this one. And now I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay Primer Potion on my right eye, which this one also has a doe foot applicator, but it's more like a stick rather than like like a spongy stick rather than a actual doe foot applicator. This one feels, yeah, this one is more sticky and this one is a little bit more smooth. But I feel as though like the texture is very, very similar. The texture is really similar, but the Urban Decay one is smoother than the NYX one. So for the actual shadow, I'm gonna use my Naked 3 palette, just cause I've been kind of loving this recently. Um, See, I'm taking the brush that comes with that and I'm gonna apply a like, dark side too. And I'm just gonna see if the application is any different. Okay, I feel as though the application on the Urban Decay side is a little bit more smooth, whereas on the Nick side it's a little bit more patchy but let's see if I can kind of build this side up to the intensity of the Urban Decay side. I mean it looks relatively similar this one just comes off a bit darker and more intense than the NYX. And I'm gonna apply this shade I think I'll go with Mugshot on the lid and I'm using an e.l.f. professional eyeshadow brush. I, side note, I really love all of the darker shades in this palette. Okay, I feel as though these applied pretty similarly. Like, I don't see any major difference in the lid shade on either of these, which is pretty good. And now I'm going to use um, a brush that I got from the Naked Smoky palette and apply the shade Strange onto my brow bone. And I'm going to see how like this blends. Okay, it's blending a little bit easier on the NYX side. It has a sharper line on the Urban Decay side. I don't know if that's something that's my fault, but we're just going to see if I can use something else to kind of blend it a bit more. I'm going to use a fluffy brush in. Um, 
go in with dark side on both eyes to kind of see how that goes. That's making it a lot better on this side, so that's really good. And plus, I like a good smoky eye. Okay, so on the inner corner, I'm gonna use the smaller end of my Naked Smoky brush and use the shade Dust. Okay, so that looks really vibrant on the Urban Decay side. I mean, the NYX side. It's a bit more subtle. Maybe it's the lighting, but it looks a bit more subtle on the NYX, on the Urban Decay side. Wow, I'm getting these messed up really badly. I mean, they look pretty similar. It's just, maybe I just put a little bit more on this one than this side. I don't know. I'm trying to do the application pretty evenly, so it looks similar, but... And on the lower lash line, I'm going to take Dark Side on a, an e.l.f. smudge brush. And this is... I didn't put any primer on my lower lash line, so this shouldn't have any effect, really. And I'm gonna go in with, um, <coughs> oh, my voice. I'm gonna go in with Liar also on this brush, on uh, just more towards the inner corner. Okay, and that's how that applied. Um, I think, let's see, it, I can still see it being a bit darker on the Urban Decay side than on the NYX side. However, it was easier to kind of blend it to the brow bone in the crease. Um, on the NYX side, I don't know if that makes any sense, but I think overall the sides look relatively similar-ish, but I'm just gonna go finish my makeup now. Okay, now that I finished the rest of my makeup, um, this is still what my face looks like, obviously, and I'm just gonna check in with y'all throughout the day just to kind of see how these are wearing, and anyway, I will see y'all in a bit. Okay, so I'm back. Um, let me zoom out. Good, zoom out. Um, I've had this on for about six hours now. I literally haven't had a chance to actually check in on this. Um, I went to go see The Secret Life of Pets with my mom and my aunt, which the beginning of it was kind of depressing-ish. But let's look at my eyeshadow. Um, I don't know if you can kind of tell this. I'll look down a little bit so you can see. But I've noticed that the NYX side um, has a little bit more creasing than the Urban Decay side. But, like, comparatively to a lot of other eye primers I've had, the NYX one hasn't creased nearly as much as it would have, like, than a lot of other eye primers I've tried. So, I'm gonna go out for a walk, because it's actually a really nice day out. And I'm gonna check back in in a bit, I think, yeah. Okay, so it's been about three hours. Oh, my lipstick, ignore this. Um, but it's been about three hours since my last check-in and this is probably gonna be my final check-in just cause it's eight o'clock. I'm gonna take my makeup off and that'll be that. Um, but let's see what this looks like. Um, after I went out for my walk, it was very hot outside. It was about 88 degrees. So I didn't stay out too long, but both sides have creased, but I don't know. I feel as though the NYX side has done so a little bit more dramatically. I don't know how well you can tell, but I think overall, like, that aside from that, words. Words are difficult for me occasionally, um, but I think that it is a pretty good dupe. Um, I think the only difference is that the NYX is a little bit stickier, which is probably why the creasing is a little bit more so on that side, because I've noticed that with my eye shape and I have very oily lids, is that um, stickier bases tend to crease more easily, whereas smoother bases that just kind of just smooth out the lids overall, um, like the Urban Decay Primer, tend to um, do the best with my lid shape, but anyway, um, let me know what you think. If you, like, honestly, in my opinion, 
if you don't want to go for the Urban Decay primer, you can definitely go with the NYX primer instead because they're very, very, very close formula. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Oh, lipstick. That's the only thing I hate about wearing unnatural lipsticks is that they just wear off. So weird. But anyway, I will see you on my next video. I hope you'll have a wonderful day. Bye. Hey y'all, it's me, Alex. Today I have a little collaboration video 